I want to talk to you about unbelief. Hi, this is Pastor LaToya White on this Thursday, Thursday. Love and share this video and like and subscribe to our page. Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. Do you know how to find unbelief in your life? Do you know that there's some people that are living a life of unbelief, but they have created their own relationship with God, with their own rules and guidelines and ideologies? and not really having faith in God. And I don't want that to be you. I want to encourage you and empower you with some wisdom today. The word says to have faith in God. In Hebrews 11, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So we have faith in God. Quickly, the fastest way to find unbelief, to know if you are in unbelief and that you do not have faith in God for that specific thing, what is your first initial response to that thing? Is it rage, wrath? Do you go over into the works of the flesh? That's your first initial response response. If your first initial response, naturally, I'm going to declare the word. I'm going to restrain or hold my tongue. I'm going to speak the word. I'm going to steal away to go spend time with God. I'm going to go fast. I'm going to do something that involves engaging faith. Then that area you need to tighten up Ask the Holy Spirit to help you to eradicate unbelief in that area. And what you do is you get the word specifically for the thing that you are struggling with. So again, if your natural first response is some type of works of the flesh, some type of rage, some type of wrath and carnality and something that your old nature would do. That is a sign that for that specific thing, you don't have faith in God. Okay. Next, what you do is you repent and say, Lord, I repent for not having faith in you for this thing, but putting all my trust and my faith and what I can do and what I can do only outside of you and outside of your word. And you say, Lord, I repent for taking matters into my own hand. And I thank you for helping me help my unbelief. And then you start to declare the word of God. Why is this important? If you haven't noticed, the world is getting really dark and very wicked. And it's only going to increasingly become more dark and more wicked. And the body of Christ is going over into a lot of deception and a lot of mixing and mixture of a lot of different things with an agenda that is not God's. So you are going to be have to be able to recognize when something is after your faith. When you have gone over into unbelief and picking up a belief system or ideology that is not holy. This is Pastor LaToya White and I hope this video encouraged you today. Don't forget to love and share and subscribe to our page.